Now you're gonna see why I love this shotgun so much to complete this event. It's just fast moving and, well, as you can see, high damaging. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Respawnables video. Today I am finally able to release a long time due, as you can see on the event timer it's only about 9 days left to complete this and I haven't uploaded an event guide video yet. So I apologize and to get you to the final price, uh, which you probably won't get because this event is hard as fuck, I will tell you the best outfits gear, weapon, pets and more to complete this event or at least reach the gemstone carrot as fast as possible. So you can make more progress in the 9 remaining days than you did in the whole month. Now without further ado let's just get right into the video. So obviously the first step to completing every event as fast as possible is subscribing to my channel. No really this is no joke. Now, if you aren't subscribed already, you probably don't know this, but I'm gonna tell you. I upload these event guide videos for every event and usually they are up in the first couple of days, so you can speed through the event while others still try to find out what's best to get the final prize. But yeah, this event specifically, your best bet is the Easter Warrior Pack for real money, obviously. Honestly, you only need one item out of this bundle, but you'll have to get the whole thing since we can't buy individual ones. And that will be the head, which multiplies your eggs collected by 4. This is first of all huge, because it increases your event progress by 4 times as well. In the end, you only have to play 25% of the time you would have played without the head and that's a lot of time saved. Now, if you haven't bought the bundle already, you can still go ahead and buy it. It's still available in the store and in my opinion, it's still worth it, since the legs included in the bundle are one of the strongest ones in the game right now. But still, if you haven't bought the bundle or if you don't want to buy the bundle at all, you can still complete this event or at least reach the gemstone carrot. How? I'm gonna tell you right now. I came up with three different strategies you can use to boost your event progress by a lot. Some of them require special weapons, some do special equipment. So if you don't have the equipment shown in the background, you probably won't be able to use the exact same strategy, but still you can learn out of it and adapt by using things you actually own. I even made sure to include a free to play build so you non paid players can complete this event as well. Speaking of which, the first one is actually free to play and can be done by equipping the elemental shotgun as well as the gear shown on the screen right now. Now, why elemental shotgun, you might ask yourself. Well, it's because it's just a really fast moving weapon. As you can see in the background video, whenever we get a kill, and this is due to our pet, and the basic movement speed of this weapon, we just get a 50% speed increase basically and run around the map like a madman. This helps us first of all to get some nice kill chains going on and second of all just collect the dropped easter eggs from every other killed player. And that just covers everything this event is about, killing and collecting. Now I don't know how hard the elemental shotgun was actually to get for you guys because I did it pretty quickly and I hope you all guys have it as well since it's a fun weapon and it's pretty strong not gonna lie. And why is the build I'm using the best? Well, that's easy. The head multiplies your score by 4, so you're gonna get 4x out of every one you collect and 12 if you collect a 3x set. The body adds 30% protection to your outfit, so you can withstand more damage and therefore live longer, get more kills, get more x. Easy. The legs are currently part of a bundle, but were collectible for free in an easter event a few years ago, so this is really only free to play for OG players. If you find yourself not owning these legs, it's not too bad because you can just change them for something else, but 
These help you pretty good in completing the event, since they attract event pickups, such as the easter eggs, from s 6... Uh, no, actually it's 9 meters away. This basically helps you co to collect eggs before everybody else can do, because they are out of range for them, you can just attract them. So in the end, it's gonna be more points for you. If you don't have the legs, you can obviously change them for some other pets or legs that attract event pickups as well, such as the cloud pet shown on the screen right now. If you don't have gear that does this at all, you're just stuck with running to them and collecting them that way. If you are using the build sh shown right now, you should be good since your movement speed is pretty high, but still you're at a slight disadvantage here. As for the masteries, I usually don't recommend glass cannon, but in this case you can go for it. Since your agility is so high your enemies can barely hit you, you might as well go for extra damage. To counter the negative effect from glass cannon, we just use zombie bull to stay at full health. And we just lose the ability to regenerate, but since we have to carry a support gadget, we can just go for the medkit and heal ourselves that way. If you don't own the elemental shotgun at all, you can go for whatever weapon you want if it's fast moving and dealing high damage. A perfect example is the silenced 4 SLT, which was available for free as well. Alright, now for the most beginner friendly out of them all. It's pretty hard for beginners to complete events like this in the first place since it's pretty chaotic, there's a lot of killing going on, and after all everybody's using overpowered weapons, trying to kill all their enemies to gain eggs. Now because everyone can collect these eggs, you can actually try to steal them from your opponents. And that's what beginners using swords could go for. If you find yourself in a place where you can not confidently say I can kill most of my enemies using the weapon I already own. You should just go for a sword and do it that way. The ideal best build for that remains the same, but you probably don't own this since you're a beginner, so just go for the build that's giving you the most health. When trying to play melee weapons and steal the axe, it's usually the best to watch your enemies fight it out and after that, dash in, collect the axe and run away again. This is the most frustrating strategy out of them all and Honestly, also not the most effective, since you find yourself dying a lot. If you want to play with swords, I recommend you take the glass cannon off, so you can survive some more hits and go in, without worrying for you just dying straight away without reaching your destination. Now since the swords work all the same, they all come with dashes, some with more, some with less, it's probably the best to go for the swords with most dashes available. In this video I used the gemstone carrot just to flex and obviously because it has the most dashes so far. 7 is a pre pretty large number and if you have a fast moving build you can dash across the whole map just by using these 7 dashes. So obviously it will be easier to collect eggs with more dashes because the enemies can't really hit you if you're dashing around. But they will be out at some point and after that you'll have to wait to recharge. And that can take some time. So as I said, not the most fun to use, not the most effective, but a solid way to gain some cheeky eggs, because you can't kill your enemies for some reason. But if you find yourself at the point where you say, I'm just not gonna complete this because I only have a melee weapon, it's too boring for me, that's obviously fine, because I wouldn't want to do this all day long, just dashing around, trying to get some eggs of, of enemies I didn't even kill. Yeah. Let's just move on with the fourth way, which is actually completely free to play. Featuring the KMO rifle with its invisibility glitch once again. As for the build, it's obvious that the one I'm using is still the best, since it multiplies your points by four. But you can use this with every build you want basically. Having the little spider pet help you out here is really beneficial but not required since your invisibility will last for the whole duration. 
In conclusion, what we are trying to do here is stay invisible for the whole game and just follow other players around. And if they get the kills for us, we attract the eggs and steal them that way. We don't have to worry about dying since we can't be seen by enemies. And even if we do, it's just one death instead of 20 using swords. This is far more effective than using the sword technique and also more fun since you see your enemies wondering where you are if you just despawn the eggs right in front of their faces. If you are exploiting and using this technique, I recommend a fast agility build so you can keep up with your like with your killer, the guy you're trying to follow. For example, this guy with explosive shotgun. He's just gonna do the killing, I'm waiting behind him and hope he doesn't see me. Now, in this one it's a poor example since we're all teaming and nobody's really there, but that's just how it is sometimes in respawnables. But yeah, if you are not familiar with the invisibility glitch, I'll just tell you or I actually uploaded a video on it, so if you want it more detailed, just watch that. Basically what you want to do is activate your invisibility, the gadget, once and after that cancel it with the camo rifle's ability, invisibility and there you go. Your cooldown is now shorter than the actual invisibility and you can just chain it for how long you want. Just make sure you don't take damage and you're good to go. The camo rifle was free to unlock during some events and also free for purchase now in its bundle. So you should be able to get this weapon, no worries. If you don't, it's probably coming back to the store sometime in the future, so definitely go ahead and buy it, it's one of the most fun weapons in the game right now. Obviously, if you are rich on gold, you can also go for the invisibility straight out of gadgets. You don't have to use the rifle then, but you'll have to use a lot of gold and that's what you guys don't want to do. At least I hope not, since it's gonna take you a lot of gold to get the final price. Now in conclusion and realistically speaking, you probably won't be able to reach the final price. Even I won't be able to, since I haven't played in a long time. I managed to get the gemstone carrot within 3 days of the event releasing, which is impressive. I'm gonna just say it, it's insane, I can't even believe I did that. Because I see people taking it a lot of time, some people didn't even reach it now. Maybe you are one of them because you're watching this video. But still, reaching the final price won't be possible, I've not seen a single player that has reached it already and I doubt that someone is gonna make it. It's just too much points. I'm not gonna try because I already have the final price and honestly you shouldn't try either because you'll just disappoint all yourself. Right. So that's it for the video, that's all the three outfits I can provide you with, which are proven the best outfits to complete this event as fast as possible. Or at least try to complete it and actually reach the gemstone carrot instead of the final prize. Now, did it help you out at all? I sure hope so and if it did, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. I'll also upload an event prediction for the next one pretty soon, where I try to predict the next event so you can prepare yourselves for it. Now with all that out of the way, thank you guys for watching the whole video and we will see us in the next one. Bye.